so hello everyone in this video i'm going to explain the core concepts behind my rap excel app i will explain what are the objects and artifacts we have generated so right now you can see my screen this is a back trial account where i have done the development so let's start one by one uh, let's start with the database table so these two are our database table uh, so this is our parent table and this is child table uh, parent table is the user table and uh, child table is the user dev table so you can see what are my fields here key fields are employee id and development id and others like attachment where we will store our attachment mind type which will store our what type of objects we will upload file name file status template status and these are my admin fields and the user dev we have our employee id development id serial number and object type and object name all these things you can change according to your requirement okay now another two table which we have created is our draft table which is user d uh, user underscore d and user dev underscore d one thing to note here that you must include this structure this admin structure otherwise when you will trying to when you will try to activate your uh, behavior implementation i will throw an error if you don't include this structure so it must you must include this structure now let's go and create our interface view top of those two tables so code data services data definitions so these two our our uh, interface view so you can see we have created our relations with the child with zero to star and uh, these are file uh, uh, fields okay uh, from our custom table these two are important here uh, basically this number represents success error warning so three represents for success two represents for warning and one represents for error so we will use this as a status for marking our file selection the file status and template status then after that we have our user dev so uh, there we have created our relationship with parent based on user employee id and dev id okay. now we will create our user dev composition one projection uh, view for user and dev so now here comes the most important part Semant semantics dot large object this is the most important uh, annotations here what does it do so basically it gives uh, like it guides sap that uh, this particular column will be used for storage for a particular large object means like excel uh, pdf jpg so it it's guide it, it tells sap this wrap framework that okay this will be used to upload large object so here we can see our mime type is excel so this is our large object large object and uh, make sure you map this mime type here with the correct name okay as it is file name no spelling mistake okay and yes and also try to uh, don't try to form like don't forget to add this line because what it does it is it, it creates a relation with your child and based uh, accordingly in your uh, with your parent in the compose uh, in the production now we have created these two also now next comes the most important uh, another part which is metadata extension so we will create metadata extension for our look and feel to improve the look and feel of our uh, app okay so so you can see here our metadata extension file now we will, i will i will go through the notations very quickly one by one so basically ui header controls what is uh, what will be displayed in page header like what description and what values like employee ids so that it could be easy to identify the record when we see it. okay then the ui facet uh, describes like divides our object page into various sections subsections and grouping the fields for better view better readability we can say so here first is our uh, header okay so header like basically it summarizes the key status okay like 
you can all use anything to display but it did basically to summarize the key values here we can say like as you can see i have used file status template status file changed okay so basically the notations you can see data point reference so bas basically data point reference is is like uh, to highlight something like to some important field value you can say often with some colors visual indicator for with specific formatting you can say okay so here and for that we need to like to target qualifier because how it will know that uh, which one to refer for this one uh, for changing uh, highlighting those fields and all that's why we have given specific uh, target qualifier for each of them okay as you can see here we have given now here comes the collection part so collection is like a box okay inside box it's a it's a big box under under which we can put our multiple boxes okay so this is a parent box collection we can say inside this we have two uh, structures you can say two uh, tables we can table not structure we can say column you can say better we could call it a column so the, under this big column there is two small small column okay which is a, a stand like user info and log details and identification reference is like just a unique id and it could be used only once okay that's why uh, we have created field group reference not like used identification reference okay so field group group reference will add another column parallel to this column okay and after that we have our line item reference which will create a table uh, a section means i like a section parallel to our this section this collection section general info okay so and line item use you know to uh, change the to make visual like to which what columns should be visible when you are opening the app and selection field is to give our filter filter column like what what columns you want to use for filtering okay so and these are our action buttons we have defined upload excel and download excel okay these are the annotations we use to define and yeah data point here the we will use our qualifier the for the respective columns or uh, whatever we feel we we want uh, to describe like to see in our header part like object facet header part so these are the qualifier and since you are using criticality like uh, we have, have shown uh, have shown you in our um, consumption sorry interface view uh, we have defined two fields so we are using this template criticality because it is it is it is storing that color coding like for error success that's why so these are we are passing it to this uh, data point reference template status for that okay uh, and uh, file status so this is pretty much in uh, our metadata extension and in nothing much in user dev metadata extension this is these are very simple annotations okay now after this what we will do we, we can define our business service which is our uh, sorry service definition exposing all the uh, entities like user and user dev so i'm using alias user and user dev so make sure you remember this because we want to use this alias instead of this name okay now uh, we're going to create our service binding which is our odata 4 service i've created so this is how it looks and when you try to open the app it will look like this okay since we don't have any data for now so it will not show any data right now so this is how the app looks when you open it okay that's it for this video we'll come uh, we'll continue in the next part thank you